welcome. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you some cool guitar chords. Specifically, we're gonna take some normal guitar chords, wah, wah, and replace them with interesting, beautiful, dreamy, cool guitar chords. It's like that show Extreme Makeover, but with guitar chords, and it stands to reason that if you like that show, then you'll love this video. And if that's true, you'll want to know how to take basic guitar chords and turn them into your own cool guitar chords too. And I'll show you exactly how to do that at the end of this video. All right, let's get into it. Here's our normal run of the mill chord progression. We're going to play C, A minor, D minor, and G. All right, so in a key of C, that's one, six, two, Don't get me wrong, I like these chords. These are some solid guitar chord staples, but let's be honest, you might like meat and potatoes, but it's not very cool. So let's get in and replace these. And if you hear a chord you like, hit that thumbs up for me. We're gonna replace C major with C major add nine. So we have the root, the major third, the fifth, just like in the original C chord, and then the second string, third fret, is gonna be put down. Uh, in this case with my third finger where there's a few ways to you can you can use your left hand for it and then the top string can be open or third string and you see that in the diagram there's a gray note for the optional note we're going to replace a minor with a minor 7 and a minor 11. now we have two measures in this chord progression that we're replacing so we can afford to use two different replacement uh, alternatives. So A minor seven is gonna be like the A minor shape but lifting off the, the finger that's on the third string. So string three is open, that G note. That's adding the flat seven to the minor chord. And then one of my favorites, A minor 11, this particular voicing, open A. And then strings four and three are on the fifth fret. And then string two is on the third fret. And then open E. I love this. I always love any chords that have whole steps or half steps in them, the chord voicing. So we have a whole step between string three and two and a whole step between string two and one. So nice and colorful. We're gonna replace D minor with also two chords. We're gonna replace it with D minor six. A nice spicy chord and D minor add nine over F. That's a D minor triad with an added nine and F is the lowest note. So this D minor six has the open D. Well, it's just like a D minor chord. Uh, but lifting off the pinky. So you're going to have an open B in there. Now this is very important to point out here that the reason I can replace this D minor chord with a D minor 6 chord is because specifically it's the 2 chord of the key. So this is the key of C. D minor is the second chord of that key and the, the 2 chord of any key uh, can be interpreted as a minor 6 chord. You can put a major 6 uh, on top of a minor triad. So you have one, you have flat three, and you have five, as well as natural six. And it gets this very mysterious kind of eerie sound. So that's D minor six, and then D minor add nine over F. So it's like a normal D minor chord, but this note up here, this F note, I'm gonna bring it down an octave and put it down here on the fourth string instead, and then have an open E on the top. Love it. That's a whole step on the top like I like to hear when there's whole steps or half steps next to each other. And we're gonna replace G with two chords as well. We're gonna replace it with G9 as well as G13. Very simple difference here. It's just the pinky lifting off 
uh, being an open string on the top or a third fret on the top. So G9 is a G dominant seventh chord with a nine. So we have G, we're not gonna play the A string. We have the third fret with string four. That's the flat seven of the chord. The first finger is gonna be on fret two of string three. That's the nine. Open B, just like a normal G chord, open second string, and that's the third of the chord. And then the root on the top. For the G13 chord, it's the exact same thing. It's just an open E on the top instead, and that E is the 13 of the chord. Quite a different sound from that original G. But totally replaceable, and very important here as well, the only reason this 9 chord and this 13 chord, because these are dominant 7th chords with extensions, with a 9, with a 13, um, that's only because G is the fifth chord of a major key. So we're in the key of C and G is the fifth chord and a dominant, if you add a seven to the fifth chord, it's a dominant seventh chord. And then this is a dominant seventh chord with those extensions. So knowing what chord you're trying to replace, where it is in tonality in a key is very important because then you can determine what kinds of extensions, what kinds of options you can add to it and play around with. All right, let's put these together in the progression and see how it goes. This process of finding more interesting chords is great for songwriters. So if you're a songwriter, you could start throwing some lyrics down. I'm feeling a little inspired and poetic from this, so maybe I'll try something here. Wow, these chords are cool. Yeah, these chords are cool. Oh, these chords are cool. You know, these chords are cool. So why are these chords so cool? They're cool because they have color. They're using chord extensions, which are also called color tones. There's a whole host of colorful chord voicing options that any given chord could be replaced by without interfering with the function of the chord or the original progression or the essence of the song or anything like that. If you want to play around with this stuff yourself and you want to find beautiful, interesting, colorful chords that are totally interchangeable with any basic guitar chord, I put together a free chord chart for exactly this purpose. With this chart, you can look up any chord type in a key and find replacements that don't change the essence of the chord but are full of the extensions and the color, like the examples I gave here. Just go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color, or click on the link in the description to get that free chords with color guitar chords chart. And it includes the exact chord shapes that I used in this video. And you can also just use the chart to practice interesting new chord shapes and explore sounds. So that's it for this lesson. Happy chord coloring, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.